Hey what's up guys it's your boy Samir and I'm back with another cool video. Now the Android N is officially out from its developer preview. There are lots of new features added in this new Android version for which users are eagerly waiting to try out. Among which the new Google keyboard is quite famous. But as we know that our devices are not getting this update anytime soon. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to get Android N keyboard on your Android device without even rooting your phone and I will also explain what are the new features and tricks on this keyboard. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing which I like about this keyboard is that now it supports bunch of themes which can be changed according to your preference or mood. You can also set your own photo which is a really nice option. At the top of the theme menu, you will find an option called key border, which will basically separate the alphabets to give a rigid look. And not everyone is going to like this feature, but I personally prefer it. If you go to the preferences, there you will find an option called keyboard height, by which you can change the size of your keyboard to short, normal, tall, according to your need. And this is going to be really useful for those who have bigger or shorter hands. Moving forward to the next one. If you want to use your keyboard as single handed, don't worry because now it is possible with Google Keyboard. Just hold the enter for few seconds and select this one. Boom! Now it's quite easy to type single handedly. You can also move the keyboard to left or right for those who are left or right handed and you can also go back to normal like this. You can now access to emojis by doing the same. Just hold the enter for few seconds and select this. That's it. Now you can choose between different emojis. The best thing which I like about this keyboard is now you can select and delete the words which you want to delete from your text or message by just holding and swiping left the back key. You can select as much words as you want and this is really very convenient. So guys these are the new features and tricks which you are going to have in the new Android and keyboard. Now I am going to show you how to install this on your Android devices. The first thing which you have to do is to enable the unknown sources from the setting otherwise the installation won't work. The second step is to download the apk file which you can download from www.extremedroid.com slash android and keyboard. I will leave the link for that in the description below. After downloading is complete, just install the apk file, that's it. Now set the google keyboard as default and enjoy the new features of android and keyboard. So guys if you like this video and find it helpful then do hit the like share and subscribe button for more future updates. See you guys in my next video.